Hey guys, how you doing? Good morning. This is Rich from Rich to Be Live, and today I'm going to talk to you about my number one electric vehicles play of 2021 bus. BUS in Canada, BUS XF in America, and I'm a big fan of bus. We're literally watching the level two market depth pre-market right now. You can see that it's at 314 pre-market. So it's already at pre-market from where it closed yesterday. And I've been a big fan of bus since day one. Brought it to our community at about a dollar. I actually brought it around dollar eighty first. It went as low as a dollar forty, I believe, maybe a dollar thirty-eight, really just temporarily. And today it's at $3.14. It's been as high as $4.50. So in my opinion, I still think there's tremendous, tremendous upside. And I always believe that good growing companies, when they show their hand, they're kind of telling you where they're going to go. And we've seen this at $4.50 already. I believe it goes back there. So there's the chart on bus. You can see that it was consolidating for a very long time. And then all of a sudden it exploded, went up over a dollar, came back down. And then where, where we started to, to kind of talk about them, it went to uh, a high of 214, came back down on a dip to about 180 zone where we got in. Then it went as low as 140. A lot of our members started getting in around 140, 150, 160, and then boom, huge explosion. I would say in about the last month, massive explosion, as you can see here. And it went a high of 450 and is now starting to consolidate back down. And a lot of guys, you know, shout out to Paul and a lot of our members, they started getting in uh, yesterday on the dip when they saw that it dipped down. I believe it went as low as 284, if I'm correct. Yeah, 284, it hit 284, and it's already started to bounce back from those levels. So going to be interesting to see what the bus does today. Very bullish on bus. Symbol in Canada is BUS, and the symbol in America is BUSXF. This is level two market depth on TD. So you're going to get a chance to see where everything is trading with the level two market depth. You can see in America, it's at 244, 255 offer, 244 bid. And in Canada right now, bus sitting at 314. If you guys have anything you want me to look at this morning, any picks you want me to specifically watch, please let me know. There are some serious picks that are up pre-market. Let's take a look at some of them. Uh, everyone's been talking about GameStop all week. I'm not suggesting you go and buy this stock, but yeah, it's rolling. Uh, GameStop at $380 plus right now. Absolutely wild and unbelievable what is happening here with GameStop and other picks. There is some serious movements with other picks. One of my favorite value plays, Pfizer, up big pre-market at $37 after dropping to 35 yesterday. They're right now right around 37. And Pfizer's working with BNTX for vaccines. And you can see BNTX is at 116. They're already moving pre-market. Let's see if Moderna is moving pre-market. Let's take a look at Moderna. Yeah, Moderna 184. Wow. So I called the buy on Moderna at 124 for our club, uh, just as a trade idea. I felt that it could go to 174. Moderna is now at 182. Wow, that's huge. Unbelievable. Market will be opening up in just a couple minutes. So we're going to sit here and we're going to watch the open and see exactly how everything unfolds. Let's pull up bus right now so we're ready. See all the market makers and all the bids and the offers lining up and let's see exactly how it goes. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're all having a good day. If you guys have any questions or if you have any picks you want me to look at or talk about, please put it in the chat. And if you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. We're going to be looking at all the picks. If there's any picks you want me to look at, just let me know and we will pull them up. We are live and interactive GRB. What else? GXPRF. GXPRF. I don't know what that is. 
G O G K, sorry, G K P R F, gatekeeper. Gatekeeper systems. Here we go. Gatekeeper systems. Thank you for sharing the pick. You found an undervalued play like VST. Yeah, let me know what the play is. Let me know what the play is, and we'll take a look at it. We're live. We're interactive. It's a Friday. Here's Victory Square at 74 pre-market. Eduardo, how you doing? IDK. I'll take a look at IDK. If you guys have any picks, just pull them up. We'll take a look at it. I'm really excited about bus. Uh, excited about potentially speaking with the CEO some more and doing some more videos about this company. And I just like the electric vehicle sector. I like electric vehicle plays and bus just happens to be one of the best. Okay. That's just weird. I don't know why there's no level two popping up now on bus. Very odd. weird why they're not showing the level two now is beyond me oh there it is popped up that's really weird the level two is messing up here at td i'm wondering if everything is going bonkers again because of this whole gamestop situation let's take a look at gamestop wow look at gamestop unbelievable up a hundred percent at 394 dollars and you have to wonder if this is affecting the whole market today because the market is doing some weird stuff and has been for days. Brokers and people haven't even been able to get into their accounts and people haven't been able to get into do buying. People haven't been able to get into do any selling. Well, this is good. Bus is up. There you go. Hope you guys got your bus ticket. Did you get your bus pass? This is bus up 3% currently at 316 this is the level two market depth on bus. Currently already traded 42,890 shares. And the market is now live and interactive. Now, bus did have some news. On January 5th, bus had some news stating the SNN Network Canada virtual event will take place on January 6th and 7th, 2021, where 42 small cap, micro cap, and nano cap public companies will be presenting via virtual webcast to a global investor audience. This is the news that just came out and bus was part of this. This was part of, I believe the catalyst that really allowed bus to explode. A lot of people started learning about them and getting into them. Um, I'm assuming, you know, after our videos that more people started learning about the company as well. Remember rich TV live is always strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here at Rich TV Live. And speak to your financial advisor before anybody, anybody buys anything. Speak to your financial advisor and get their opinion. Get their opinion. Oh, look at this. XAU. This is my number one gold and blockchain play right now for 2021. I am a shareholder. I do own a nice position in gold money and I'm very bullish on gold and Bitcoin. And I believe that gold money is well positioned as a just a juggernaut. This company is a juggernaut. Okay. So I love these guys. I think there's so much excitement and good things happening with gold money. I am a shareholder and I have 5,000 shares. I'd like to get at least another 5,000 shares, but for now, quite happy with the 5,000 that I have. I'm already in profit, but I'm not interested in selling this right now. I think it goes way higher and I am going to ride this rocket because I think that the upside is tremendous. Now, Bitcoin exploded overnight. So Bitcoin plays and blockchain plays are totally in play this morning. Let's take a look at Galaxy Digital. Boom! Galaxy Digital. Beautiful. A uh, huge day. I am a shareholder of Galaxy Digital up 12%. So I'm pretty sure that all Bitcoin blockchain plays are on fire right now. So we're going to take a look at them. As Bitcoin exploded, it went to 38,000 this morning. Wow, look at this. Grayscale is at $39. It's up $6 right now. Huge move for Grayscale. 
Let's see where Riot's at. Riot's uh, up 15%. Nothing wrong with that for Riot. These are all, I'm going to show you all the Bitcoin plays that I like to look at and focus on. Mara up 14%. Hive up 6%. Okay. CWRK up 8%. BTC up 11%. So all the top uh, Bitcoin plays that and blockchain plays that we like to look at all up today. BTCG.U also up. Try to see if I can share that. I'm, I'm, we're live and I'm in the group chat at the same time, trying to, trying to coordinate everything that's going on right now. There's so much happening in the markets. It's, it's just unbelievable. But it's exciting time, very exciting time, very, very, very exciting time for investors. Never in my history as an investor has there been so much excitement in the market. I mean, between everything that's happening with Wall Street bets and then everything that's happening with Bitcoin. And then everything that's just happening in general with stocks, electric vehicles and plant-based foods, and we're on top of all of it, it, it never has been a better time for investors. This is really the best time ever I have ever seen for investors. Congratulations to investors on bus currently at 318. I think this goes way higher. I think this is just the beginning for this company. And I believe this company has a chance to be an absolute giant. Okay. Now, another company that is another electric vehicle play that I'm very bullish on is Ideonomics. I actually just spoke to the senior vice president of investor relations just a few days ago. And I'm really, really bullish on this company. Tony Sklar, uh, class act, very, very big fan of this company. And I think that they have a chance to be an absolute giant in the electric vehicle space. So for me, the target for IDEX and bus would be around $10. Uh, I'm not trying to say it's going to happen overnight, but I see these as $10 stocks. Maybe it takes 12 to 24 months, but I don't see any reason why these can't be $10 stocks. Electric vehicles is one of the hottest sectors in the world. Obviously, Tesla mm -hmm. is the leader and a lot of other companies are trying to follow in their footsteps. I think bus has a chance to be absolutely huge. I think IDX also has a chance to be huge. And both of them are still very affordable. Bus has a very tight float, which is extremely important to me. And typically when companies have tight floats, there's no selling pressure that's going to hold them down. So that's a very bullish indicator. For me, it's a very bullish indicator. Let's take a look at some other trades today and we'll see where they're at. Here's Control Energy. In my opinion, this is going to be huge. And this is just a buying opportunity for Control Energy where they're getting a lot of selling and it's really on a dip. And I think the upside is tremendous for Control Energy. Let's take a look at TAT. Also, TAT Lifestyle and Wellness. In my opinion, this isn't a buy zone. I think this company is easily a 5 to $10 stock in the future. Let's see what else. Let's take a look at CloudMD Software. Doc. Same thing. Love this company. I think this is a $10 stock in the future. They're currently at 246 Huge upside for these guys. Oh, let's take a look at everybody's favorite movie theater. <laughs> AMC, uh, big day for them. Up 53% uh, right now. Stock is halted at $13. I've actually been talking to a lot of our community about Tilray. I think Tilray is positioned to do some big things. They are down right now 2% at $18.33. And let's take a look at the psychedelics ETF. So there's a brand new psychedelics ETF. Uh, okay. This is the brand new psychedelic CTF, PSYK. Very bullish on this, very bullish on psychedelics. And I think that this is going to be a very successful ETF. 
when do I think UPI will take off? I don't know. I, I When I buy a stock, I don't worry about when they're going to take off. I worry about the fundamentals of the company. And I think universal prop tech fundamentals are phenomenal. Tight float, uh, growing company. One of the tightest floats I've ever seen, actually. Growing company and literally just getting started. Also working in the COVID-19 space. I think it has incredible upside. And to me, this is a future $1 stock. I believe it'll hit a dollar this year. Um, so for me, the upside is almost 300% from here. Uh, yeah, I'm very familiar with DFLY. Um, I'm not sure why you're telling people to ignore my comments. Uh, please dislike and leave. Uh, only a degenerate would make a comment like that. But I'll take a look at uh, DFLY. <laughs> it's funny. You don't you don't respond to someone right away, and they start they turn on you so quickly. Don't be a degenerate in my stream. I'll remove you because I don't need you. Just make that. I want to make sure that that's very clear. Uh, Dragonfly Inc. DFLY. I brought this pick pre a dollar, and I was the first one ever to talk about Dragonfly Inc. DFLY, and it was under a dollar when I brought the video, and today it's at three dollars and twenty five cents. Congratulations to members and investors on Dragonfly Inc. I am very bullish on drone stocks, and this is my number one drone stock. Another good drone stock is Fly. Here's Fly, and this is my other top drone stock, and big fan of Flight Aerospace Fly. Any other questions? Any other picks you want me to look at? Please let me know. We will literally pull it up while we are live. And let's take a look at Bus. All right, so bus currently at 319, up 4%, and big fan of bus. If there's any other picks that are moving, please let me know. We will literally pull them up while we are live. Here's THRM. Thermobrites at 56 cents, up 9.8%. If you guys have any other picks that are moving this morning, please let us know. We will pull them up while we are live and interactive. Yeah, I mean, if you if you put something in the chat and I'm not responding, it's not because I'm not, I'm ignoring you. It's just because I'm probably looking at another screen. I'm I'm watching like ten screens right now, so I apologize. But if you put in a, a pick, I'm gonna show it. You know, like I'm always gonna show you. Is there any price targets for CLIS? Um, obviously CLIS is a penny stock. Please proceed with caution with penny stocks. This is at four cents. Is there a price target? I mean, I don't know. It's four cent penny stock. <laughs> what do you want from me? So uh, price target, I don't know, 10 cents. That seems about right. Okay, you can see Pfizer is having a good day today. They are in the green. That is one of my top dividend stocks. Here's BNTX. They're working with Pfizer for the vaccine. They're up 3% today. Here's MRNA, Moderna. I brought this pick at $20. Told everyone in our club that I felt like 124 was a good buy and it would go to 174. It actually went to 185. Congratulations to members that took this trade idea. And it's right now 170. So I actually brought this pick first at $20. You can see the video on YouTube when I predicted that Moderna would be huge at $20, currently at around 170. So if you got in at $20, you'd be up around eight times your money, about 800% when I first brought this pick. So very, very big fan of Moderna and what's not to like. Let's quickly just go back to bus. Okay, still at 319. All right, all right. And let's go to XAU. Let's take a look at XAU for a second. Okay, XAU right at 318. Okay. Now I am talking to our community about a new gold play, Fury. 
Uh, this is a gold play that I'm very bullish on. And Fury Gold is at $1.86. And silver stocks are also on fire today. Here's First Majestic Silver. I interviewed the CEO last year, and they are up 5%. A lot of people are talking about silver right now and gold. Here is SLV, a silver play, and they're up again today. And let's take a look at silver dollar in Canada. Another silver play up 5%. If there's any other picks you think I should be looking at, anything that's moving, please let me know and I will pull it up. SWKS. Okay. SWKS. Skyworks Solutions up 12% at $180. Looking good. Thank you for this pick. What do I think of NOK all pumping aside? I like NOK. I think NOK is a, is a good play, um, especially for 5G. I don't get into the hype and hype plays, and I don't chase rockets. I ride rockets. I like to get in early before they explode. So I think NOK is actually a good trade, but obviously there's lots of issues because they're one of the picks that Wall Street Bets is – talking about and they're up today but they've been a little bit of a roller coaster to say the least have i had a chance to look at biol i haven't but let's take a look at it right now biol okay at a dollar 10 down six percent so far today and if there's any other picks you guys want me to look at, please let me know, and I will look at them while we are live. Once again, let's pull up bus. Okay, currently right now at 310, up 1%. So if you have a bus ticket, please let me know. Do you have a bus pass? Have you ridden the bus electric vehicle rocket? Are you thinking about jumping on the bus? Have you gotten on the bus? Have you already gotten off the bus? Let me know. I believe that this is a story that is just getting started and the upside is absolutely tremendous. B-E-G-I and D-E-L-C. B-E-G-I. Here's B-E-G-I of 14%. Okay. And D-L-O-C. DLOC at five cents up 7%. Okay, thank you for sharing these picks. Take a look what's going on today. Take a look at the heat map. Here we go. All right. So let's see what's up. So, okay. Okay. So right off the bat, GME killing it uh, was up huge. It's coming down a little bit, hit 413. Now it's 345, 346. Mm -hmm. Here's AMC. These are all the GameStop uh, enthusiast uh, Wall Street bets picks. They're all seeming to have a big day today. Here's EXPR up 43%. NAKD up 32%. So these guys really have an impact on the market today. Uh, KOSS is halted, but it's up 27%. What else? Here's a really good blockchain play that I really like. Argo blockchain currently at $1.35, up 19%. Big fan of this. Here's Swiss, SWIS, having a monster day up 15%. Here's IPOE, very big fan of IPOE. They're up 20%. Let me 
just gonna take a picture for a group chat because I called IPOE yesterday in our club and bam, up 20% today. No surprise there. No surprise whatsoever there. This is level two market depth. And I love level two market depth because it shows me the buying and the selling. It shows me the war in the markets. I have a better feel for what's going on at all times in the markets. And I always like to have a good feel about what's going on in the markets, especially if I'm making investments. All right, let's see some picks that are moving. So here's uh, G6 materials. Uh, this is a graphene, graphite play, big fan of graphite, and it's doing quite well today. Here's GBTC, my number one Bitcoin play. They're up 12% today. ALYI is a penny stock that we've been watching. They're up 13% today. BTC has got the number one symbol for Bitcoin. Bitcoin, uh, BTC is the symbol for Bitcoin, and they're up 14% today. GLXY, I'm a shareholder and I love GLXY. Huge day for them today, up 11%. I'm very happy about that. Here's Mara, another blockchain play, up 10%. Here's BTCG.U, another one of my top blockchain plays. They're up 10%. So you see the trend? CWRK up 9%, another one of my top blockchain plays. What else? Wow, there's a lot of green today, folks. This is good. Here's DELC. I was talking to our community about it. They are one of a few top plays that I'm looking at right now. Very interested in this play, in this trade idea. What else is happening today? Oh, NOK is definitely climbing, guys. Nokia is definitely climbing right now. Eduardo, you got 1,300 shares of the bus? Wow, 80% of your portfolio is IPOE. Well played. Very well played. Kyle says, I'm very much into bus. Believe they are definitely positive stock with the way EV transformed the world. I believe the upside is tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. Wow, Nokia's moving, guys. Look at this go. Nokia is really moving today. So there's some penny stocks that are moving too. Here's OZSC up 11%. And what else is worth talking about? RDGL, another penny stock that I think has some big upside up a little bit today. Nothing huge, but a little bit of movement there. Oh, GameStop really went up fast and it's coming down pretty fast too. So here's GameStop. It went to 413, currently at 336. So definitely a roller coaster ride today in the markets. Wow, IPOE is really making a big push, guys. Really making a big push. Here's an interesting one, BLIAQ. Um, this is Blockbuster, the bankrupt Blockbuster. This is actually being pushed by GameStop enthusiasts. The uh, Wall Street Bets group, uh, they call themselves degenerates. Um, I wouldn't be buying a blockbuster that's bankrupt stock, but I guess people will buy anything these days. So um, just to let you be aware of it, I personally wouldn't touch it, but it's on the move. I wouldn't touch anything that's bankrupt, but you know, people will touch anything if there's a chance to make money these days. That's for sure. I don't think that's a good strategy to win in the market, but Hey, to each his own, right? PSAC really having a nice day. Really nice day. Here's Chris, C-R-I-S. They're also having a nice day today. Wow, Voyeur Digital. Oh, Voyeur Digital. My goodness. What a move. Huge day for them so far. Let's go back to bus for a second, see where it's at now. Okay, bus right now at 310. You can see on the chart that bus has uh, had a big move up and now it's coming down. So as a trader, you're looking for the lowest possible price, obviously, whenever you buy anything. So try to obviously, if you're interested in getting into bus, try to get it as low as humanly possible. That gives you the best chance to win. 
Looking at the market for opportunities right now, obviously it's a Friday, perceive a caution always when you're trading. And if there's any other trade ideas that you guys really like or that are moving or you think I should be aware of, please let me know. Let me just quickly see if I can see what is trending this morning and see if I can find the top gainers. Oh, wow. Okay. So there's some top gainers today. Let's take a look at. Let's go look at SIEB. SIEB currently halted up 274%. And then let's take a look at TRX. TRX up 147%. They are also halted. <laughs> See the trend here? LMFA. Let's take a look at LMFA. LMFA is at 255, up 70%. Big move for LMFA. All right, you, 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 you. You, you, you up 59% and they are halted. Interesting. LGHG. L-G-H-L, sorry, H-L. Lion Group, H-L. Lion Group, up 51%. Put these guys on your watches, put them on your radar. OPTI 19 cents looking to go on the NASDAQ. Yeah, I like that. Let's take a look at OPTI. OPTI. Optic. Yeah, these guys actually have had a big run. If we go to their chart, they could see the OPTI has really made a big run here. NAB. Hey, thank you for the pick. NAB. Let's pull it up. Look at all the halts. NAB. NAB. It's been a weird week. Like I've been kicked out of my account and it's been a really weird week. Wow. NAB. Whoo. Nice call. NAB just ripping. Nice call. Oh, let's look at Novax. NVAX. Monster day today up 44%. Let's see what else. CATB. CATB up 51%. EXPR up 35%. PHAT. PHAT up 35%. AAU. A A U U where's A A U up two percent right now A A U I don't know why they were saying that was up thirty now oh probably with the wrong one A A U in America U here we go up thirty nine percent. So these are some of the top picks that I'm looking at today that are really making moves. If you have any other picks that I'm missing, please let me know and I'll pull them up. Uh, lots of picks obviously doing well today. So, wow, SIEB is up 347%. Incredible. Absolutely incredible moves in the market. When the stock market starts trading like this and big board stocks are trading like penny stocks, you know that uh, the market has a lot of momentum in it. And that's what's happened. There's a lot of money in the markets. I think people are at home. 
Uh, COVID-19 has something to do with that. People are at home and they're making money trading. And that's why you see so much liquidity in the markets. And I don't think this is going to stop. I think this will continue. Cliff says, Voyeur Digital is my exposure into crypto. What are your thoughts, Rich? I like them. They've done quite well. And they've been a big, big, big winner. So yeah, they've done quite well. And I think that CWRK mm -hmm. is Voyeur Digital 2.0. I think this is the closest thing to uh, Voyeur Digital 2.0, CWRK. And I think they have a great future. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts on BlockBerry and AMC? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't like them. I don't like either company, but I mean, you're welcome to go and ride momentum if you like it. It's just not something I would personally buy because I don't like to buy hype. I like to buy value. So it's totally against my trading philosophy to buy hype. Um, I don't believe that that's sustainable. I like to buy value and I like to buy companies that are growing companies that are growing their revenue. You have 2K shares of bus and bought at 369. It's been going down. Yeah, you got in a little bit high. When we brought the pick, and you can go to my videos on YouTube, we brought the pick when it was uh, around 150 to 180. So it's obviously quite high right now. Um, you were buying bus near the top. So the only thing you can do now is wait, or you can buy more and lower your costs. Those are your options if you got on the bus at the top. AMBL. I don't see AMBL. Neo, I mean, Neo was a rocket. Obviously, I mean, this is the rocket that's already left the building from a dollar to 60 bucks. I'm not interested in this at $60, but clearly, this has been an absolute rocket. One of the top picks of the year. Anytime you have a stock go from a dollar to 60 bucks. You can make 600 times your money. Um, that's always a huge success, right? So these guys clearly uh, have made a lot of people very rich. Would I be interested in buying at 60 bucks? No. But I mean, to each his own, you guys do whatever you like. I'm just here to give you my advice and give you my opinion. I'm not into chasing rockets. I like riding rockets. I like to get in early, get a good seat and uh, get my popcorn ready and go along for the ride. But uh, chasing a rocket... Yeah, that's against my uh, trading philosophy. I don't chase rockets, we ride them. So sometimes we get in early and we wait. That's okay. I don't mind waiting as long as it's worth the wait. <laughs> and a lot of times we've waited and then in the end, we get a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow and there's nothing better than that, in my opinion, uh, waiting and getting that big pot of gold at the, at the end of the rainbow. So once again, let's take a look at bus. I was the first one ever to bring the world bus I was the first one ever to bring this electric vehicle play. And I told everyone that it's my number one electric vehicle play for 2021. I haven't changed that tune. I still believe the upside is tremendous. Obviously, they've already done well in 2021. And they're still up around 100% since we first brought them. But I believe that the upside is tremendous from here. And I believe that they're just getting started. MLND. MLND. All right. Of 5%. Cool, cool. I want to read a little bit of news on bus. I'm going to look at their chart here. So you guys can clearly see the chart is trending up. This is just a what I call a retrace before the next lag up. So Love to know your opinion. If you agree or disagree with me, I'd love to let you. I'd love to know what you think. I want to read a little bit of their news here. Grand West provides update on current vicinity deliveries. Mm -hmm. So on January fourth, Bus, a Canadian manufacturer of mid-sized multi-purpose transit vehicles for sale in Canada and the United States, is reporting mm -hmm. on the current deliveries in the fourth quarter of 2020 and early first quarter of 2021. In the third quarter management discussion analysis. The company promised to provide a corporate update on expected deliveries. As previously disclosed, the company has ordered to deliver over 40 million before the second half of 2021. So they have orders to deliver over 40 million before the second half of 2021. This is a very positive step towards regaining profitability and increased liquidity after the negative results of the pandemic. 
company has started delivery of a large order of over 90 buses. The original target set in the summer of 2020 was to deliver these buses before year end. Approximately 75% of these buses are in the process of being delivered, but the vast majority will be delivered in the first quarter of 2021 due to COVID-19 related slowdowns at the manufacturing plant and difficulty securing transportation for the buses. The remaining 25% of this order will also be delivered during the first quarter of 2021. All other orders expected for delivery before the second half of 2021 are on track. This is big news for bus, and this was the catalyst that made this stock explode. Company is also expecting the first electric buses, the vicinity lightning, to be completed and ready to promote to customers in early 2021. A first delivery to customers for EV buses is scheduled for 2021. William Trainer, president and CEO, stated, we had William on our show. Very impressed with William. This is an exciting time to be part of Grand West. We have created products built for communities with impact on customers and the environment. First and foremost, our company is positioned well for the next stage in growth. We are refocusing our efforts in the United States by building a new manufacturing plant and increasing our market exposure where possible through new and existing networks. The prospects for Grand West have never been better. Very, very, very bullish on this. And I think the upside is tremendous for this company. And when you compare it to all the other electric vehicle plays, it's actually quite cheap. I mean, especially when you compare them to Tesla. So we've seen Tesla, we've seen Neo, we've seen these companies just have enormous success. And Bus has also had huge success. Like this is Tesla, right? So clearly the chart and the trend is up for Tesla. Um, despite the fact they're down today, we've seen electric vehicles have a huge year in 2020. And I believe 2021 will be no different. And right now, electric vehicles may be having a little bit of a dip because Tesla is going down. But we can't expect Tesla to just go up on a straight line, right? They're going to have ups, they're going to have downs along the way. But at the end of the day, Tesla is up huge for investors. And I don't think anyone should be too worried about Tesla having a small little dip. When they did their forward split, I predicted that Tesla would jump all the way to 1,000 after the forward split. So they've hit 880. They've gotten pretty close to 1,000 already. And I still believe they're going to go to 1,000. And they may even do another forward split. Who knows? So stay tuned to that. We'll definitely be watching very closely and carefully to see what happens. Look at this. So this whole GameStop crazy phenomenon uh, went up to 413. It's already down to 306. So very interesting to see what's happening here with this Wall Street bets phenomenon that's kind of swept through Wall Street. And we'll be watching very closely and very carefully to see if there's any trends that we can take advantage of. Yeah, I like that tight float. Yeah, SHG is a beast. It's funny, you know, I call these winners and they go up and they explode and then people buy them at the top and then they come down, they dip and then people, what's wrong with SHG? Well, nothing. I brought this pick at 60 cents. It's at $1.20, so it's up 100%. So there's nothing wrong with it. But the reality is stocks don't go up in a straight line. So you have to learn how to exercise your patience and you got to learn how to read charts and read news and do fundamental analysis and try to have a better idea of what's going on with the stock market and going on with your picks every single day. That's how you become a great trader is when you become really well-versed in what's going on in the market 24 hours a day and seven days a week. If you're trying to get into a rocket before it explodes, you're going to have to learn to be patient. If you're riding momentum, there's always a chance there's going to be a pullback. So you have to be aware of all of these situations when you're trading. They all are going to determine what type of results you have when you trade. DSGT, DSGT. Yeah, DSGT is up 19%. Thank you for sharing the pick, Green Bull. SOS, that's an interesting symbol. SOS up 10%, thank you for sharing. OPTI is a penny stock with no debt. I like that. What do I think about PTQ? PTQ. Uh, PTQ halted, 
currently at 211. Uh, looks like it's at 215. So probably halted due to some news. Looks like it's ready to rip. All right. So lots of momentum in the market this morning. OZSC is a penny stock that's really ripping this morning, up 22%. It was at 20 cents. It's making a big move right now. Here's MVMD. We've been talking about it in our community. Up another 13% today. Mountain Valley, this rocket doesn't want to stop does not want to stop. It's nice to see btcg.u having a big day today. Following the trend of Bitcoin. Oh yeah, OPTI having a big day all of a sudden. Now up 12%. You guys have any other picks please let me know i'll pull them up sos provides insurance for crypto holders okay that's cool that is cool all right so yeah so that's kind of what i wanted to talk to you guys about very big fan of bus love to know what you guys think about bus from here and it's always difficult after I call a trade and it's already made a huge run to determine what the next entry is going to be. So when people are like, Rich, you know, when do we get back in the bus? And I was just like, well, it's, it's tough. I mean, we called it under two bucks. It went to 450. Right now it's at three. So it's kind of right in the middle, right? You know, we called it at about $1.50. It went to 450. Now it's at three. It's right in the middle. Really hard. I mean, obviously, in my opinion, what I would say is if you're looking for a starter position in bus and you can get in at around three or lower, I think that would be a pretty good entry. So that's kind of what I would be looking for if I was looking to buy this in Canada. I'd be looking to buy it under three bucks. I'd feel a little bit more comfortable if I could get it for that price. Not to say the 309 is that bad because I believe this is a $10 stock, but short term, who knows, right? It was at $1.50, you know, not too long ago. So anything is possible short term. But long term, I absolutely love this play. I think the upside is tremendous for them. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited to see where they can go. All right, guys. Hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great weekend. This is Rich from Rich to be Live. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. Bus has been a big winner for our community. We brought it to you first. Love to know what you think. Did you get your bus ticket? Did you get your bus pass? Are you in on this money magnet? Are you in on the money bus? Did you get off the bus and take your profits? Are you planning to get in again? I'd love to know. Very excited about this company. I think that 2021 is going to be their breakout year. And I'd love to know what you guys think. Comment down below. Have a great weekend. This is Rich from Rich to be live. And I told you guys, if you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. Grand West Transportation, Bus in Canada, BUSXF in America. Already been a big winner. And I think it's just getting started. Have a nice day. It's your boy Rich from Rich to be live. And I'm out. Peace. Happy hunting, everybody.